The University of Wollongong has updated to Moodle 2.7. The first thing you will notice about Moodle 2.7 is that it looks a little different to our previous version of Moodle. There have been a number of changes to the design of Moodle 2.7 to increase the responsiveness and this version ensures greater usability on mobile devices. By resizing the window, it is possible to preview how content will display on a smaller screen. The display is now cleaner. The action icons that previously displayed next to an activity or resource can be found in a drop-down menu to reduce visual clutter. Contributing resources to Aquella is now easier than ever. By dragging and dropping a resource into a Moodle topic, a window will display with options to save the resources in Aquella or Moodle. When linking Aquella resources using Add an Activity or Resource, multiple resources can be added to multiple topics by dragging the resources from the Aquella item summary to each topic. There have been numerous improvements to the assignment activity. Mahara has now been added as an assignment type and is no longer included on its own in the Moodle Activity Picker. A word count has been added to the assignment activity. The grading page has been changed to merge grade and feedback comments into a unified grade module. Assignments submitted in PDF format can now be annotated from within Moodle, allowing teaching staff to provide greater feedback options to students. A new Notify Student setting has been added to control when to send feedback during grading. The Assignment activity has a new Submissions filter to easily check the submission statuses of assignments. There have also been improvements to the quiz activity. The Question Bank has been improved with new search options, interface and usability changes. Essay format questions now allow an attachment to be uploaded. If you would like more information or assistance with new features, Click on the link to Latest Moodle Update in the New Features block after logging into Moodle. For self-help information, or to request assistance, click on the Support tab at the top of the screen and follow the on-screen prompts. Staff can also access support from the Intranet homepage. Thank you for watching.